at the third time of asking, AFC Liverpool versus Silsden at Valerie Park actually goes ahead, following two previous postponements. Silsden actually came to Valerie Park in January, but the referee called the match off at the last minute, meaning they had to return home without the game being played. Tonight, with Steve Corris absent, Adam Farley takes the captain's armband, and he's partnered at centre-back by the returning Chris Williams. Torpy knocks the free kick into Jones, who gives him the return. Paul cross into the box, and that's a wasted free kick from AFC Liverpool. And they could be in trouble here. The seal's done on the break with Gorgon. Looks to get away from Williams into the area. Gorgon fires in a shot towards the near post. Vincent gets down to make the save. And it goes behind for a corner to the visitors. Mann delivers the free kick towards the edge of the AFC Liverpool box. Chris Williams wins the header. Lamb knocks it back into the box in an instinctive overhead kick from Gorgon and it's only a couple of yards over the bar. Buckley picks the ball up and he's got space to bring it into the Silsden half. Can't get it under control and Douglas gets back. Knocks him over, the referee waves play on. Now it's Barry. Tries to find Jones, doesn't succeed but picks the ball up once again. Skips past one defender, two defenders, three defenders. Gets a shot in but it's straight into the end of the game. The way the ball stuck to Barry's feet there, it was almost like watching Lionel Messi. It's just a pity he couldn't find the finish. Barry attacks with pace down the right flank. Goes into the path of Jones who looks up. Gets the box looking to see it doesn't find him. Buckley can't bring it under control. But with great persistence there he wins the ball back off Moses. And then he wins a corner for his team. the near post, Sinek can't quite get his head on it, and Barry will get a second chance to put a cross into the box, and it heads towards the top corner, and man has to stretch to turn it behind. <laughs> Torpy and Lamb come together, Torpy gets a foot in, but it could have been a great reset for Silsden. As Lee sends Garrod away, finally gives chase. Garrod's forced a little wide, still gets his shot away. Bimson gets a hand to it and does just enough to divert it beyond the far post. It's another quick counter attack from Silsden, and Michael Garrod is a whisker away from giving his side the lead. Torpy with the delivery towards the back post and Sinnott is there and Douglas just gets enough on it to take it away from his opposite number and surely prevent AFC Liverpool from taking the lead. Jones with the delivery that's turned to his own goal by Gorgon but no red shirt can force it over the line. Barry is blocked off, gives it back to Jones. It's crossed towards the edge of the six yard box. Kevin is there with the header and it goes behind for another AFC Liverpool corner. John Lawless nor Jackson it could stab the ball home with some desperate defending on the goal line there. Douglas gets that all wrong and Buckley picks it up but his ball forward doesn't find the red shirt. And Silsden could be on the break here again as Gorgon gets away from Williams into the area and he knocks it past Gimson to give Silsden the lead just before half time. Joe Gorgon has been Silsden's most threatening player and this time he does finish off one of the numerous counter-attacks that the visitors have engineered. Yeah. 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 Lee picks the ball up for Silsden, provides one or two challenges and gives it to Douglas. A back ball forward towards the edge of the box is flicked on. Gorgon picks it up, could be another chance for Silsden, but he can't keep his effort down. Humphreys with the throw in his AFC Liverpool attack right at the start of this second half. Finds Jones, who lays it off to Barry, who wins his team a corner. Well, 
Jones' delivery towards the edge of the six yard box. Farley with the header, but Mann is able to make the save. Crossing to the box, he's headed clear. It's not forward as Silton looked to break as quickly as possible. Williams wins the header, and then he slips, and Hurd is able to win the ball off of him. And Silton have got numbers forward here. Lamb pulls wide to create the angle to whip across into the box, which finds Gorgon unmarked on the edge of the six yard box, and his header drops a yard wide of the post. And how did Joe Gorgon get his header so wrong? It should be 2 0 to the visitors. Turns one way, then the other to create a little bit of space. Looks for the top corner, but doesn't have the pace or the accuracy to beat now. Sin at back pedalling gets his head to it. Buckley pushes over Lamb and concedes a silly free kick in a dangerous position. Lee will go direct for goal. Bimson stretches and manages to palm it away. In the end, it was a comfortable enough save for Leon Bimson. Nice height for him. Sinnott launches the ball long with time running out for AFC Liverpool. Williams wins the flick on, finds Lawless. He turns, looks to put it over man, but it lands on top of the net. too many options for him and then he's bundled to the floor and it's a free kick to AFC Liverpool and Williams to go direct for goal and it clips the outside of the post and James Mann must have been supremely confident that wasn't going in as he didn't even make an attempt to save it clock as there can't be too long left now. Picton comes in with a late challenge and that's going to be a book in. And Buckley could be in trouble as well. He's already been booked earlier on. The referee goes to his pocket and produces a straight red and James Buckley is off in the final seconds. 1-0 to Silston. Do you think that was a fair reflection of the score? Yes. Um, that was like the first game of the season. Uh, I think some of them have took the foot off the pedal. Um, I think their heads are elsewhere because I think they, they think they're safe. Um, I'm just told them basically, not good enough. I, I keep saying them, I'll praise them all day long. Uh, I don't. I feel as if I've never got, you know, in fits and starts we got effort here and there. Uh, we never got about them at all. Uh, we haven't worked their keeper uh, all night. We've hit the post on the 86 minute, 87 minute. And that's the only thing I can say. Um, but regards to the results, I've got no qualms with the results. They've gone and scored the one goal. Uh, we've often puffed. Uh, there hasn't been no, no. I don't know. I just, I've just said something there. I'm lost for words. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I was at the last nine games. That's the worst I've seen for a long time. I feel it's taking a bit of a step back there. Well, yeah. Uh, and I, and I said after the Blackpool game, I wanted to go and push on forward. Uh, you know, no, I'm not taking nothing away from Sills. They've come here, they've got the game plan, they've got the goal, they've scored the goal. Uh, they possibly could have got one or two more, to be fair to them. Uh, but at the end of the day, I always ask me lads, if anything, give me the effort. I felt it was a bit lackadaisy tonight. Um, I think people were getting frustrated on the pitch. Uh, we're trying to get information onto the pitch. Uh, they're looking at us as if we're, we're from Mars. Uh, you know, like I said, I said it to the week, there's a lot of these lads that haven't ever been coached. So, you know... There's still a lot to learn, to be fair to them. But tonight, you know, I've got no qualms about the results. It's just I'm a little bit disappointed with the performance of my team. Sills then came out in the blocks quicker and uh, played quite a high-tempo game. Yeah, well, t to be fair, we played them the other week and, 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 and they were a decent side up there. You know, the lads knew what they were up against. Um, maybe I should have gone in, eh? I might have won. <laughs> uh, but, no, 
I mean, you know, I'm not going to really slaughter the lads. They've, you know, they've come a long way in a short space of time. You know, they, they've got us out of the, uh, the relegation zone, you know, and it's we're, st- we're still there. We've still got points there to win. Uh, but I think they know themselves, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the way we, we wanted it to go tonight. But, you know, we'll have a little look at it tomorrow. We'll have a little think. Um, and we'll go again Saturday. Seals then uh, break quickly and then in numbers and ultimately that was what uh, they got their goal from. Well, unfortunately, I think a few of the lads have got their heads on Saturday for some reason. Um Because obviously we're talking about this semi-final. Uh, I might have to play myself and yourself Saturday and might pass after playing goal or I don't know. Um, they're all talking about Saturday and I think the Reds weren't on it tonight for that reason. Are you worried about uh, the game against Colne then if, if they're concentrating on the semi-final there? Um, we, we, at the end of the day we've got to be professional, we've got a job to do, you know, tongue and cheek, you know, with regards to semi-final, Liverpool and Everton on Saturday, you know, but... I'm probably expecting one or two texts, to be quite honest with you, uh, but they'll be pre-warned, shall we say, uh, because we have a job to do here, I have a job to do, um, and I just hope that they're, uh, they're heads on it. On Saturday, you know, we've asked Cohn to uh, try and cooperate, and unfortunately they've said no on everything we've asked, so, you know, I want to beat them, and I want to beat them well on Saturday. Looking for a <clears throat> reaction to tonight's performance, then? I'm looking at a massive reaction. Uh, I want a big, big reaction on Saturday, uh, and I will get it. I will get it because at the end of the day, like I said, if Cohen had cooperated, we wouldn't be talking about Saturday. Uh, so I've got a little bit of being in my bonnet over that, to be quite honest with you. I think uh, basically they haven't cared you know, about situations, but hey, they'll come here and we'll beat them. Confident then? I'm, I'm damn sure. I'll, I'll put it into the lads' heads, yeah. Um, you know, not, not so much for Saturday. You know, I'm still obviously disappointed over tonight, but... I'm a little bit disappointed into in, in the fact because uh, I'm one of them managers. If, if I can help people out in some in some uh, in some way, uh, I always would, and I have done. Uh, but obviously, people are not like me. So, uh, like I said, it just gives me a little bee in my bonnet for uh, Saturday. So I'm looking really forward to Saturday, and not the FA Cup semi-final, mate. I'm looking forward to beating Cole.